All right, y'all, welcome back to Retro Rewire. My name is JJ, and in today's episode, we're gonna be doing another Fluff unboxing. As a matter of fact, you saw the thumbnail, you read the title. It's gonna be for Metal Gear Solid, the premium package. Now, I just wanna add that I was at a hard off down the junk section, of course, just minding my own business, you know, kind of scrounging around for goods. And lo and behold, down by some dirty VHS tapes is where I found this bad boy. In fact, when I first saw it, I did the whole double take thing, kind of like a Scooby-Doo <laughs> mystery type deal. And I snatched that bad boy up with the quickness and I actually thought about it for 30 minutes and then I just kind of slapped myself out of that nonsense and like a good soldier, I brought it home. So I'm super excited about this uh, unboxing and well, let's get underway and see what's included with the Metal Gear Solid Premium Package. Alright guys, so we just went up close and personal with the box. Now it is damaged um, quite a bit actually, but you know, this was, uh, well let me just start off by saying I paid 3,000 yen for this, so it's roughly a little bit under 30 bucks. And yeah, the box, you know, of course it's going to have some damage, it was in the junk section. And I don't know, this is just something that you don't really see every day. But definitely cool now. I'm definitely going to be showing close-up shots. I'm, I'm a little bit limited here with my space, but check that out. This is the back here. And then it kind of just, uh, over here, it kind of just lists um, what's included with this package. And it's a total of four items. So most of these items are going to be included, but there is other items that were a part of this package that are not listed um, with that and the first one that i want to show i got it here off to the side was this little envelope here and as you can see it says metal gear solid tactical espionage action now what was included in this envelope was actually postcards i have one of them right here and this is of course deep decoy octopus uh, super cool this and uh, i wasn't expecting this to be a part of that and i'll definitely show uh, close-up shots of the other postcards i currently have them framed because these are all going to be going up in the game room of course you know we got to represent um so super excited about these postcards because you know i actually do collect postcards and i wasn't uh i wasn't expecting for those to be included especially because they weren't outlined so maybe those things were a part of like the pre-order bonus or some other type of thing i'm not really sure but anyhow let's go ahead and open up this bad boy and um just gonna be doing it a little bit different i guess uh today just because i'm limited on space but check it out let me just kind of flip it around and as you can see right away we have a t-shirt now the t-shirt is still sealed and it shows a little bit of discoloration i mean this thing has probably been sealed since 1998 as a matter of fact it still has like this little uh uh, tissue paper kind of keeping it um, protected and I think for this one I'm actually gonna leave it sealed because I don't really have a particular interest to wear it but this is gonna be uh, the shirt here that's included now the next piece let me just put this off to the side um, and the next piece is this Metal Gear Solid classified document and as you can see a little bit hard to see just because this thing is so bright um, it has a bright little sheen there, but as you can see down here, it just has uh, the logo. And then in the back, we see the Konami logo. Back when things were cool, right? But anyhow, let me open up this bad boy. And this one is definitely, uh, this one is definitely a collector's, uh, a Metal Gear uh, collector's dream. But look at this bad boy. We're gonna open it up. And right away, we see some pretty images there of liquid and solid and of course of our favorite we got rex there hoping you guys can see all of that and pretty much there are some developer interviews here um look at that we got like a chronology of uh 
I think this is, yeah, Police Not Snatcher. So this is uh, some type of chronology of Hideo Kojima's games, uh, like the release. Um, and the paper on this is super high quality, right? But then we got some like developer interviews. Um, in fact, I think the, look at this picture with uh, <laughs> with uh, this gentleman here, uh, what's his name? Um, Motosada Mori. Now I believe he was like the weapons uh, um, advisor. I could be wrong, but that's just hilarious, that photograph. And then of course we have the artist behind all the the goodness here. But yeah, it's just it's just a cool little thing. A lot of history. Of course it's in Japanese, but you know, um, nowadays, you know, with the Google Translate, you could easily um, see what this is talking about. And I'm sure like maybe the translation is up online, but this is definitely a, a huge historical piece, man. I mean, look, we got a couple voice actors there with the uh, BTS. Uh, some BTS shots. Um, what else do we have? And then of course we have, we have this little tissue paper. And then right front and center, we have another little fold out. Now this one's cool, super cool this one. Look how big that is, I can barely get it in there, but it just kind of has like screenshots of the game's progression. Um, it has the Shadow Moses map, uh, down on this side you can barely see me there but I mean this thing is freaking super cool and don't you worry I will be getting close-up shots of all of this so we could uh, all enjoy it in fact here's a that kind of image kind of just uh, of Rex super cool that one and then it, it says eyes only I'm not sure what that really means I, I guess because it's classified right and then we have a uh, Shinkawa-san's uh, illustration, so it's a bit, a little bit of an art book as well. Uh, man, this thing is super cool. And actually, uh, you know, th this image, you know, we're all familiar with this image, very iconic. Uh, but there is a few that I'm not really familiar with. You know, I mean, I love my Metal Gear, but I don't obsess. Well, look at me obsessing over this stuff now, but you know, I don't know everything about it. And I haven't seen everything there is to see just because it's a huge, a huge freaking franchise. But a lot of these freaking images deserve to be framed. Um, I wish I could frame them. Now this one, this one is definitely new to me. I don't, I don't think I've ever seen that image outside of this uh, classified document. <laughs> as well as this one. This one's, this one's pretty cool. And then it just kind of has like uh, the other illustrators that uh, that did these. But freaking awesome, I, I freaking love this little thing. And then again, we have kind of another little outline of, uh, of releases there that Kojima-san has done. And then, uh, and then we have like some credits. And then here, this is kind of like the soundtrack's uh, uh, track list. So definitely interesting to see. But yeah, guys, this thing is freaking awesome. And uh, yeah, the emotions, the emotions are running high here. The next thing I want to show is the music collection soundtrack. Now it's kind of hard to see there. I'll definitely cut to something that's a little bit easier to see. But um, up top here, it has Metal Gear and Metal Gear 2, um, Solid Snake. And yeah, there is no kind of like uh, inserts and maybe because they're a part of that book that we just saw, I'm not sure, but this is the soundtrack. And if you've noticed, this bad boy is still sealed. I can't believe it. This was in the junk section too, and it's sealed. Um, we have the game, of course. We'll get to the game here in a sec because I want to show this here. Now, as you can see, we have the Foxhound logo. Foxhound uh, Special Force Group, Special Forces Group, whatever. And as you can see, it's some dog tags. And then we got like, you know, since 1987, uh, Foxhound Special Forces Group, and then it has like a little serial number there. Uh, this thing is still sealed too. I'm probably just gonna leave it in there. I don't, I can't really see myself, <laughs> see myself wearing it. But then we have this. 
Oh, this is the game. Now the game is actually, uh, it's printed on premium paper. And I'll try to, you know, I'll definitely show the uh, regular retail release alongside this. But um, as far as that, you know, it's, it's still like your standard stuff. You know, we got the game discs there. Pretty cool. Um, we have the manual, which the manual, of course, uh, this is actually printed on uh, premium paper as well. I mean, this is super cool stuff, man. Enough to give one a nerd attack, you know what I'm saying? Um, and and again, like the like the regular retail release, it does include the demo to Sukoden, but also we have the sticker set, which the sticker set is kind of going along with the whole silver uh, the silver business. And I do have a sticker set that has like the original uh, the or not the original, but well, they are original, but like the standard stickers, so they don't have that shiny gloss. Uh, the Obi or the spine card, again. It's gonna be printed on premium paper there. And of course, it's not complete without the registration card. Uh, look at that. There you go, registration card. <laughs> and a little brief questionnaire. And then we have the last thing, which is Sukoden 2. Just a little uh, manual for the demo there. But yeah, this is... Uh, this is super cool, man. Like I said, I found this in the junk section. Uh, it was fairly inexpensive, you know, like um, for what this is. And I'm definitely super excited to have this one as a part of the collection. You know, I'm currently in a PlayStation. Um, I'm in the mood for PlayStation 1. But anyhow, guys, that's going to be it for this video. Thank you for checking it out. My name is JJ. Retro Rewire. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe. All that good business. And I hope to see you all very, very soon. Ciao.